If you're one of the thousands of Texans tricked out of money by somebody claiming to be a roofer, you know it's almost impossible to get justice. But all that could begin to change. Consumer investigator Alana Otler is here to explain, and a lot of open ears on this one tonight. Yeah, Doug, dietitians, barbers, and nail techs are all jobs with more oversight than roofers. Some say scammers know this, which is why they flock to Texas. There was tons of shingles on this, this side of the house. There's still nails here. Jody Johnson wants to know why Texas failed to protect her. It made me really angry because he stole our money. Nearly six grand gone after a crew removed every single shingle from her roof, then vanished. The guy that took the shingles off put a few holes in there. So it was open, like we need our roof. You know, what are you going to do? There was only one thing to do. Finish the job herself. I was crawling around all over my knees. I had bruises, scratches. That's right. Jody Johnson never fixed a roof in her life. Yet, in the eyes of Texas, she was just as qualified as the guy who ripped her off. Do you feel like the state is doing enough to protect people? No, absolutely not. Few, if any, state laws punish fraudulent roofers who often roll into town after a natural disaster. It's how Texans lose thousands of dollars at the hands of con artists. Homeowners left with shoddy work. They actually did more damage, as much or more damage than what the hailstorm had done. Or no work at all. I want money back. <laughs> I want my money back so I could complete the roof. When it comes to roofing, Texas is the only Gulf state without protections for consumers. But this year, all that could change. We're allowing people to get ripped off, and we don't have any remedy that we provide for them. Attorney Stephen Badger has represented dozens of victims scammed by rogue roofers. He's backing a bill that would hold contractors accountable. What's different about this year? Perspective. After one of the worst storms on record, Hurricane Harvey. There's more awareness now uh, that has gotten people thinking that perhaps it's time that we absolutely finally do need some type of regulation. In a twist, even the roofing industry is asking for more regulations. We're very cognizant of the fact that there's some bad actors in our industry. What the Roofing Contractors Association of Texas wants is simple registration, proof of name, proof of address, that's it. From that, the state would create a database where consumers could research contractors. The contractors would want to be on that list so that uh, they're recognized by the consumers. So stakeholders are in, consumers are in, the industry's in. Who's holding Texas back? The answer lies inside the state house. We contacted every incumbent lawmaker ahead of the 2019 legislative session. 9% say they support a bill with more regulations, including Fort Worth Representative Giovanni Capriglioni, who authored a bill last session and plans to do so again. A spokesperson for Fort Worth Representative Craig Goldman says this is an absolute priority. And while only three lawmakers explicitly say they will not support a bill, 60% of the legislators we contacted never responded. If that's surprising, consider this. For the past 10 years, every effort aimed at regulating the roofing industry has died. Two chucks in a truck from Louisiana can show up after a hail or windstorm, call themselves a roofer, uh, take people's insurance checks, and disappear. Johnson knows her money is gone. So is the roofer. But before the next storm, she hopes people like her are protected. Who did I have to turn to? No one. Capriglioni says he plans on filing his bill in two weeks.